Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame Rx, and I'm here on Sunday, February 11th, 2018, with your weekly reading for Twin Flames and those on the Divine Love Journey. So this weekly reading is going to cover the time period between today, which is Sunday, February 11th, and Saturday, February 17th, 2018. We're going to start with this affirmation from the Angel Affirmation Calendar by Doreen Virtue. It states here, this date... 211 or 112 is a powerful angel number that means stay positive and keep the faith. So that's what we need right at this time on this journey. At least that's what I need. I want to thank you all for joining me for this video, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, and for subscribing to this channel. So if you haven't done so already, I hope you do. I also hope to see you on social media, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. I want to thank all those that loyally come to me for readings on the two links below and new people that will arrive. Also, we have the website open, www.twinflamerx.com, if you'd like to check that out and see what kind of reading and healing services I have available. Okay, so let's get started with this weekly reading. So I'm shuffling and asking Divine Source to give us the messages for the week that we Twin Flames need. We have some important dates coming up. We've already went through that um, time period with the lunar eclipse and the full moon, which was very energetic and exhausting and took a lot out of us and cleared us of a lot of negative energies, really. And now we are in the period of the new moon coming up the day after Valentine's Day, which is this week. So Valentine's Day is on Wednesday, the 14th. And then on the 15th, we have that new moon and a solar eclipse, which is set to be transformative and ushering in and bringing in new energies for new beginnings. So it's kind of like the new year for us twin flames. And I do like to let you know that on my journey, I've been having kind of a tougher time this past week, but many insights and revelations came to the surface. I believe one of them being that my twin that I thought was my twin might not be the true twin. So I will give you more information on that as time goes on, but I'm still navigating that. Um, there is someone else, my ex-boyfriend, who kind of really is the one who got me started on getting more in touch with myself, to be honest with you. Um, we're meeting up today, so I'll see what the vibration is. And I believe he may be my actual twin, and the person that started this YouTube channel was a soulmate, a karmic soulmate, and a catalyst. Now, you know, we're going to have an interesting week coming up, so only time will tell for sure. But um, I can let you know that the person I am meeting up with later is someone that I'm very compatible with and that, you know, we have we love each other. It's just it didn't really work out for us. So it's just interesting how this journey has many many turns and I will share it all with you. I mean, he and I are interested in living a conscious lifestyle and he knows about this YouTube channel and even said to me that he doesn't know about all these card readings I do, but he, when I explained to him about the fact of Twin Flames are here to bring consciousness to the planet, then he was more into that. So... So I'll keep you posted. Um, so these cards have gotten an awesome shuffle. And now let's check them out. So this is the Rider weight, And we're going to do a Celtic Cross for a situation for the upcoming week. But first, the overall energy of this week is bringing in new beginnings. And I really resonate with this from what I just told you. Um, the person that I think might now be my twin, um, it's just overwhelming. And he said, I always had a problem being overwhelmed. Um, it's just like, yeah, you know, it is a new beginning for us. And um, hopefully, like for you, you resonate with this um, card 
that we have an opportunity in the physical realm this week, along with that new moon coming in, to have a new beginning. And it may be like something that you didn't expect or the person that you thought was your twin is not your twin, but you might be getting even better, okay? So um, just know that whatever happens, it's meant to be, okay? So um, the situation card here is the two of swords. So this means a compromise that both twins are going to put down their swords and stop turning them towards each other and actually looking within this week and realizing where they have gone wrong individually and be able to come together in more of this compromise or truce type of fashion where they're both, you know, able to resolve their unresolved feelings and move forward in a more diplomatic way with each other. Something that is an obstacle or an impetus bringing us closer to our desired outcome is the Knight of Wands. So it's us moving passionately toward that which we desire. Okay, so that is pro probably going to move us forward this week. Um, the overall and crowning energy is the Fool. Actually taking that leap of faith and not being afraid to go out on a limb and to go for your happiness this week and go for what makes you feel good about yourself and about your life and about your journey. And, a, and go toward your beloved, not to be afraid. So it might be that your beloved is finally going to take these actions of moving toward you and giving you a chance or giving the relationship with you another chance or take the leap of faith and finally meet you or go from a 5D to a 3D state with you. So what we have to work with is an end to the negative thinking. Okay, so an end to the negative thinking patterns. You have, um, you know, been through it all. Basically, this is an end to all the negativity. The 10 represents the final sword being put in the back and like being feeling defeated that you cannot go anywhere else now because you've hit rock bottom here on this journey. And maybe this is your twin feeling that, but whoever's feeling this, you cannot, you cannot go anywhere else but up. You can rise from those ashes of defeat and just move forward, move upward and onward. In the recent past, we have the energy of equal balance with the Six of Pentacles. So the two of you are realizing that you need to balance your energies out and that you should be really paying attention to the give and take in the relationship that when somebody texts you, you can text them back once, not five million times. And if you are seeing yourself in that kind of pattern where one of you is giving more than the other, then it's not right. But with your true counterpart, there will be that equal balance. In the near future, we have swift movement with the Eight of Wands, so there will be lots of messages, either in the 5D or in the physical, but they come through the air. This is showing swift movement through the air, so through the airwaves, through the radio waves. And one thing that um, I found interesting, because before, when I was with um, my ex-boyfriend, we didn't um, know, I didn't know anything about Twin Flames, but I thought that he was a soulmate for sure. And I still think he is because Twin Flames are our soulmates. Um, and I know that we both love the same music. Well, after we were talking about getting together today, he started sending me like a bunch of different songs um, with all of these like lyrics that were <laughs> interesting, like about us and about the journey. And, and I might dig a few up and put the links in the description box, but that was one of those signs to me that he might actually be my twin because, you know, he's sharing these lyrics with me that mean something to him and to us. And, and I mean, I just was crying when I was listening to these songs. So I'm, so basically there's going to be messages. So you might be getting messages from your beloved through the songs um, and I could even tell you that I do think of this person. Um, I did think of this person whenever I heard music, when I was even with my twin. It's just, or the person I thought was my twin. I'm, I know it's getting confusing, so I'm just going to stop talking about it for now. 
but I'm sure I'll have some more updates for you very soon. Um, so enough about me and my journey. Let's look at these cards here. We have us following our intuitive guidance here, represented by this High Priestess card. That's definitely important for us at this time to follow the intuitive guidance that we're receiving. And others might see our beloved or maybe us as being tight-lipped about our situation, which is fine because you can't really share too much about the journey because others are just not going to be supportive. And that's one of the things like, with me and the person I think now might be my twin. Um, we <laughs> didn't have a lot of support around us. And I always thought that there was negative energy and negativity around us, keep it wanting us to break up. And we did. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's one of the elements of being a twin is when you find your twin, people do want to break you up. Um, they just can't stand all that positive energy that the two of you exude together. What we have here is the seven of swords energy is what we hope against. So we do not want someone in our life that's going to be, um, how could I say this? Well, someone that's going to be, I can't even think of the word now. Um, Someone that is going to be disrespecting you, lying to you, cheating, all those things. That's what we don't want. We don't want someone who's going to be deceiving us. That is the word I was looking for. We don't want that. And I feel that the person I thought was my twin was deceiving me. And that's the whole reason why, you know, it, it's not working out with us because they are being deceptive. So you may be, I hope you resonate with this reading and I hope you appreciate what I'm sharing with you because it all happened so fast for me to find out. I did find out some deceit about Angel this week and then I prayed for guidance. I went to bed the other night like praying for guidance and um, praying that I would wake up and have answers and there was an answer the next morning, nothing from Angel nothing from him but something from this ex-boyfriend and it was him finally answering a message that I sent him a few weeks back and I thought when I sent that message like because I got a new phone number he would not call me back like he was done with me and um no he did but it was two weeks later when I asked for the answers to who is my twin or what is happening and please God help me to get through another day of this journey so and we're going to end, well, the reading ends here with this um, with this last card with the outcome, which is the Page of Cups, which is the offering of love. So, you know, I hear readers saying and teachers on this journey also saying that your twin is going to come to you and return to you you know, when you're not really paying attention or they might not be who you expected them to actually be, but they will offer this cup of love to you when the time is right. And that's exactly what is happening for me. And I know that it's happening in different ways for different people. And this reading confirms all of this. The, the page of cups here is you're going to get an offer this week and it may not be from your twin that you think is your twin. It may be from someone else, but I really suggest that you kind of explore that. And I heard other readers talking about exploring other options in the recent weeks because we never can be too sure the way this journey goes. There might be these so-called false twins, but they are our catalysts helping us to get through the journey to who our true twin is. And also when you find yourself, the twin within, that's when your true twin is going to pop up in the physical for you. So again, this reading is pointing out that your twin is going to pop up for you in some way this week. There will be some swift progress and they will offer their cup of love to you. Just follow your intuition, your inner guidance. Your inner guidance always knows the way to go, and you may have some detours along the way on this journey, but 
just hold steady because eventually everything is going to make sense. Um, all right, so we've got here the energy cards for the Divine Feminine. We have the 5D energy and then the 3D. So the 5D is the soul energy with the Romance Angels. So the Divine Feminine soul is going to be examining religion this week and understanding that their love life is influenced by their religious upbringing and their spiritual path. So the soul is trying to break down all the barriers that religion places upon human interactions. Religious Religion is really a human construct, but being a spirit is, it's universal, it's cosmic, it's what we are. And so our souls are trying to let us know that that is another one of those illusions that we need to break free from. So if you're a divine feminine, you're going to be tapping more into the spiritual aspects of yourself. And in the physical, you're going to be asked in some ways to make the effort that great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So when you get the opportunity to take an action, do it. Now, you may want to reach out, but it may not be the right time, so follow your intuitive guidance to do that. But it definitely, if you are being offered love this week in any form, because Valentine's Day is coming up, so you never know who's going to pop up, and just and receive that love. You know, Make the effort to at least receive the love and be grateful for that love. Um, you know, I didn't know that this person that my ex still loved me. But I do know it took me a lot to get over him and to, and it took my angel to come in to help me to get over that person. So you might be seeing a new twin in, on my channel soon. I don't know. But I do know that both him and Angel are my soulmates and that they're part of my journey and they're an important part. And um, I respect and love both of them. Um, and they both hurt me, but I forgave them. And they forgave me, I'm sure. So here's the Divine Masculines. 5D energy and 3D energy. So in the 5D, the Divine Masculine soul is set to call in their soulmate, call in their Divine Other, call in their Divine Counterpart, call in their Twin Flame. Their soul has been longing for their twin, their prayers, their affirmations, their visualizations. Their soul is saying, hey, this is me trying to get you to reach out to this person who we know is your twin. So the divine masculine's feeling that soul pull as well. As far as the divine masculine's 3D mind and their actions will play out, they're going to come at their twin in a playful kind of way. The romance angels are letting them know that recapturing romance is going to allow their inner and youthful spirit of fun to shine. So they're going to work on that. They're going to move toward that. They're going to try to be playful and loving and youthful. And so they may not come into the picture with a big old apology, but they may just come in and flirt or say something friendly so try to, if you are the receiver of that, try to understand that it's not always easy to talk about the fact that you were wrong or that you hurt somebody. Um, a lot of people deal with that energy by blocking it or masking it or stuffing it down. And I mean, from my own personal experience, the man I think is my twin now, brought up some things after we reconnected playfully that I did, that I forgot that I did because I stuffed that down because it was so bad. I wasn't an angel in that relationship with him either. But I, I do know that I was the runner of that now that I ran. And uh, he said he's been waiting for me to open my heart. <laughs> so interesting like how everything works out or everything is really an illusion until you get to the crux of things until you get to your core and and then you can like look from the inside out and see everything that it all kind of makes more sense and that you might have thought that a person was running from you or that you were being rejected or pushed away but you might 
when you really are conscious of everything, realize that you did the same things as well. Okay, so I just wanted to share those things because I thought that they would help you along your own journey, and I hope you appreciate that. Now I have some cards here. These are for your union, for the kind of guidance for the union at this time. So the spirit message by John Holland here is soul solitude for the week. It says your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience the peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. And yeah, in order to get to who your true twin is, your soul does need that solitude. So that is also why I was pretty quiet this week, not posting a lot, because I needed that soul solitude myself, and you might be needing that as well. And, you know, you might be needing to take more time for yourself in order to find out who you really are as a soul. Okay, the Miracles Now card by Gabriel Bernstein is kind of an affirmation. It says, my happiness can be measured by the level of my faith and love. So never give up on this journey. Remember, the angel affirmation was this date, 211 or 112, is a powerful angel number that means stay positive and keep the faith. Keep the faith in love. Keep the faith in your journey. So... The level of your faith and love is going to give you your happiness level. So if you have a lot of faith and love, then you're a happy person because you know that you are love and that love attracts to love. The Kuan Yin Oracle with some guidance from the compassionate goddess, ascended master is sound the fierce flute. Discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your intentions like a fierce sounding flute cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent, your discernment allows you to stay true to your values without getting caught up in distraction. To grow spiritually through love, joy, peace, and abundance, make high vibrational choices that feel good to you. So that is what you need to do in order to get to your desired outcome. Be discerning. So... I can share that I am discerning on who I'm telling about me going to visit the person that I'm feeling now is my twin. Um, I'm not telling anybody except you guys because I don't want anyone in my friends or family to play any kind of role in, in what is going to happen because I know if I told them, they would fill my head with negative thoughts about it, and I wouldn't go. But at some point, you learn what you allowed to stop you in the past and how you've grown and, you know, what your responsibility is in the situation. And you learn that keeping your union now, I wouldn't say a total secret, but to keep it under wraps until you and your beloved are secure together, that is a good, a good strategy. All right, so the final card is Archangel Michael's message, and he says, have confidence. Archangel Michael, please lend us your courage and fortitude. Help us realize that we are one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health allow us to feel confident and peaceful about ourselves and about our twin and about our union in all ways. So I am ending this reading for the week with a Reiki healing. I'm sending you and your beloved twin flame some Reiki healing energy so that the two of you may connect at the heart level this week because it is the week of hearts, it is the week of Valentines, it is a week of new beginnings, and we have this beautiful portal coming up with this transformational new moon and solar eclipse on February 15th, so I hope you have a beautiful week, and I will be coming to you very soon, probably for a reading about that specific solar eclipse and new moon, but until then, 
Love and light. Namaste.